Hello. Should you eat avocado every day? What are the health benefits of avocado? And what are the potential drawbacks? Is it true that avocado can help control your blood pressure, balance your blood sugar levels, and also prevent cholesterol from depositing in your arteries? How can you prepare avocado without using sugar to retain its nutritional benefits and make it taste good, of course? How much avocado should you eat per day? And can pregnant women eat this fruit? In this video, I will talk about this superfood called avocado. It's much more than just a fruit. Over 7,000 years ago, the inhabitants of South Central Mexico were already using this fruit. And about 5,000 years ago, the tribes there began planting and cultivating avocados, making it as old as the invention of the wheel. So, in this video, I will tell you the 10 benefits of eating avocado every day for your health. I will also discuss the risks of overconsumption. Stay until the end, where I will share five ways to prepare avocado without sugar so you can get the most out of this powerful food. But first, like the video, subscribe to the channel to not miss our health tips, and activate the bell to receive notifications. It's also crucial to share this knowledge with your friends and family. When it comes to your health, our health, it's worth sharing. So, share it. Tell me. Do you eat avocado every day or do you dislike the taste? Where in the world are you from? Write down below. Shall we begin? Why is avocado a superfood and part of a healthy diet? As I mentioned, ancient peoples from the Mesoamerican region used avocado as food, which was extremely important because avocado provided sustenance and was surrounded by mythological powers. The Aztecs believed the fruit gave strength to those who consumed it, Besides having aphrodisiac properties and helping fertility for both men and women, ahuacatl in Aztec means testicle. So, if a woman wanted to get pregnant, she should eat avocado. For the ancient Mayans, there was a belief that people who had died could return as fruit trees, and one of these trees would be the avocado tree. Over time, avocado spread from Mexico and Central America to Brazil and other countries. However, in the 1980s, when American cardiologists began to blame fats for artery blockages and recommended avoiding all fats without distinction, avocado was sidelined in the United States because it is a fatty fruit. Of course, with new research, it was discovered that avocado fat is good fat, and instead of clogging arteries, it reduces the progression of atherosclerosis. Therefore, avocado became part of the diet again. Now. Avocado's popularity has exploded. Avocado became trendy. In 2017, Vogue magazine reported that more than 3 million avocado photos were posted on Instagram daily. 3 million. That's a lot of photos. Avocado is photogenic. Many celebrities have put avocado in the spotlight, saying they eat it every day on toast, in smoothies. And avocado is not just trendy in food. Several homemade beauty treatments containing avocado started circulating on the internet. For hair, for the face, as a natural mask mixed with honey and lemon juice that would leave the skin softer and more flexible due to omega-9 oils and oleic acid that are highly moisturizing and close to the skin's own oils. But does avocado deserve the fame? Is there a reason for all the attention? Yes. Avocado is indeed a functional food with high nutritional value. It is one of the fruits with the highest amount of fiber, and we know that people are eating less and less fiber with this industrialized diet. Besides, 100 grams of avocado have more potassium than a banana. So if you have cramps, introduce avocado into your diet. And that's not all. It's full of antioxidants that protect your body from daily damage, provide satiety, due to the healthy fibers and fats, and are rich in vitamins like vitamin K, vitamin E, vitamin C, and minerals like magnesium and manganese. And even the avocado seed can bring health benefits. Just don't overdo it. Nothing in excess is good, not even water. Just because it's healthy doesn't mean you should eat it all the time or go beyond limits, okay? So what are the 10 benefits of eating avocado every day? 10th benefit. Avocado can improve your immunity. If you have low immunity with frequent colds and flu, you need something that can boost your body's defenses. Eating avocado can help you. 
The National Cancer Institute in the United States found that half an avocado contains almost 20 milligrams of glutathione. Glutathione is a potent antioxidant that strengthens your immune system. Besides, it recycles other antioxidants like vitamin C and E, prolonging their effectiveness in fighting free radicals. Additionally, avocado fat increases the absorption of fat-soluble vitamins such as A, D, E and K. The fruit's polyphenols also play a crucial role in regulating the gut microbiota, enhancing the intestinal barrier, preventing leaky gut and regulating immune function, increasing good bacteria. So, avocado can help your immunity. Ninth benefit, avocado can help combat inflammation. I have mentioned in several videos that fruits and vegetables are the main sources of antioxidants and micronutrients in the diet. Avocado is rich in antioxidants and anti-inflammatory compounds such as phytosterols and polyphenols, which can help reduce inflammation in the body. So, if you are very inflamed, often experiencing muscle and joint pains, start eating more avocados to combat your body's internal inflammation. Avocado is rich in monounsaturated fats, especially oleic acid. About 70% of the fat in avocado is composed of this acid, the same as in extra virgin olive oil. This healthy fat has anti-inflammatory properties. The Mediterranean diet, which is rich in olive oil, avocado, fish and herbs, is considered an anti-inflammatory diet. Eighth benefit, avocado can help your eyes. How does it help your vision? Avocado is a good source of lutein and zeaxanthin, two antioxidants that help filter blue light that can damage the eyes and protect against oxidative damage and age-related eye diseases, such as macular degeneration, one of the leading causes of blindness in people over 50 years old. Additionally, the monounsaturated fat in avocado helps absorb other fat-soluble nutrients, such as beta-carotene. So if you eat a carrot or mango, avocado fat will help with better absorption, which benefits eye health. Seventh benefit, avocado can improve your skin. The antioxidants I mentioned, vitamin E, glutathione, and vitamin C play an important role in cell regeneration and collagen and elastin production, helping prevent premature skin aging, such as wrinkles and fine lines. Additionally, the anti-inflammatory properties help reduce redness, inflammation, and improve skin healing. All the nutrients in avocado nourish the skin from the inside out, providing hydration, elasticity, and renewing the skin. If you want to use avocado as a facial mask, it also helps provide extra hydration and nutrition to the skin. Sixth benefit, avocado can improve your brain. The healthy fats in avocado can benefit brain health. These fats provide energy and help form brain cell membranes. Being rich in antioxidants, avocado can reduce the risk of neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Vitamin K, vitamin E and folic acid play fundamental roles. Studies suggest that regular avocado consumption can help improve memory and cognitive function. A 2020 review published in Phytotherapy Research concluded that avocado has neuroprotective action. So, if you are concerned about your memory or have family members with dementia or other neurodegenerative diseases, it is worth eating avocado. Fifth benefit, avocado can lower your cholesterol levels. How? The monounsaturated fats, including oleic acid in avocado, can help reduce LDL cholesterol, the bad cholesterol, and increase HDL cholesterol, the good cholesterol. But that's not all. Avocado also contains beta-cytosterol. Remember this, beta-cytosterol has a structure similar to cholesterol and competes with it for absorption in the intestine, thus reducing dietary cholesterol absorption. This combination of healthy fats and beta-cytosterol makes avocado extremely beneficial for your heart. Fourth benefit, avocado can help lower blood pressure. Another good news important for your heart. 100 grams of avocado have more potassium than a banana. Potassium is crucial for controlling your blood pressure because it helps balance sodium levels in our body. A diet high in sodium and low in potassium can lead to sodium accumulation and fluid retention. But if you start eating more potassium, sodium will be excreted, 
and you will retain less fluid and bloat less. Of course, if you have high potassium levels in your blood, like people with chronic kidney disease who are almost on dialysis, you should avoid some fruits and foods. However, if you don't suffer from this and have high blood pressure, it's worth investing in avocado. And now the top three, top three benefits of eating avocado. Third benefit, avocado can protect your liver. If you have fatty liver, pay attention. A 2016 study showed that avocado consumption reduced liver fat in overweight and obese adults. There were two groups. One ate avocado with the main meal and the other did not consume avocado. Those who ate avocado reduced hepatic steatosis, hepatic inflammation, and markers of hepatic inflammation. As I mentioned, avocado is rich in anti-inflammatory oleic acid, antioxidants like glutathione and vitamin E, cytosterol, and fibers that reduce cholesterol and triglycerides, all contributing to liver protection. Second benefit, avocado can improve your sleep. Contrary to popular belief, avocado is not a heavy food. It promotes satiety because it is rich in fats and fibers. So if you eat it at night, it can prevent you from raiding the fridge or eating night snacks that make you gain weight and cause digestive discomfort that can harm your sleep. Moreover, it is rich in magnesium, which has calming properties, and tryptophan, an amino acid precursor to serotonin and melatonin. First benefit, avocado can help your metabolism. Avocado is a low glycemic index fruit, which is very interesting for diabetics. It keeps glucose levels more stable and does not cause insulin spikes. Being rich in fats and fibers, it provides satiety and can also help improve insulin sensitivity. And if you don't overdo it, avocado can be an ally in weight loss. Besides, if you sleep better, you can improve GH, growth hormone production, which will help you lose weight. Of course, don't go overboard because avocado is high in calories. Eating a quarter of an avocado a day or half an avocado every two days can help you control your weight. Can pregnant women eat avocado? Yes, avocados are a good source of folic acid, which helps in the healthy development of the baby and reduces the risk of miscarriage and neural tube defects. How much avocado should you eat? There is no simple answer because no two bodies are alike. It depends on your calorie needs, other foods you already consume, and your preferences. Per day, do not exceed 100 grams of the fruit, which is equivalent to a quarter of a medium avocado or one small avocado. Because if you overdo it, avocado has a lot of fiber and can result in some unpleasant side effects for you. What are the drawbacks of overconsumption of avocado? You can gain weight instead of reducing it. It can increase gas and cause stomach pain. Avocado is a food with high FODMAPs, what is that? These are carbohydrates that are more slowly absorbed by the body, so they are not as well digested or absorbed. This can lead to gas and cramps. So if you follow a low FODMAP diet and have excessive bacterial growth in your intestine, you need to reduce your avocado portion to one-eighth of an avocado. Additionally, people sensitive to latex should avoid eating avocado as it increases IgE antibodies, which can cause an allergic reaction. And remember that since avocado has a lot of fiber, you should increase your fluid intake. So, avocado equals water. And if you have a serious kidney problem or high potassium levels in your blood, you shouldn't overdo it. Can you eat it? Yes, but just a little. And if you only know how to eat avocado with milk and sugar or avocado with lemon and sugar, how to avoid sugar in avocado? Should you use sweetener now that the WHO warns about the risks of sweeteners for your health? It's better to avoid sweeteners and avoid sugar. Ah, but I only like to eat avocado with sugar. Occasionally that's okay. Try to reduce sugar, but once in a while it's fine. Of course, if you are diabetic, it's better not to, or only very, very, very rarely. But you can use avocado in other ways. An avocado with salt and pepper, with a little lemon, paprika. It's good. I remember when I was a kid, my best friends were Spanish, and we would have lunch there on weekends and I found it very strange to eat savory avocado. For me, avocado was sweet, but over time with changing habits, I started to like it. I make a lot of guacamole at home, 
It is a Mexican dish that means avocado soup or avocado sauce. Since avocado has a buttery texture, you can replace some recipes that use butter with avocado. You can replace mayonnaise with avocado. Tuna with avocado is very good. Add avocado to salads or salad dressings, on toast in pasta sauce, and of course, with a little creativity, it will taste good. It's all about habits, but for all the benefits of avocado, it's worth trying. And also avoid overdoing it. Did you like the video? Remember to share so more people can have this knowledge. Remember to subscribe and see you in the next video. Thank you very much.